We're going through a series of showcase professional features, and in this session, we're going to be covering the comparison tool. Comparisons tool is a great tool for looking at two models side by side in the exact same environment. This could be, as we're going to be showing within this particular demonstration, uh, looking at uh, two different material combinations or two different finishes for a product, uh, but it also could be used for a competitive reference. In order to activate this, there's two ways to get into a comparative mode. First of all, we load in the original scene as we have right here. And the next thing that we want to do is we want to open up the scene for compare. That's one approach to pull it in. The other approach would be to pull and just drag it in and tell it to do a comparison. The two interfaces look very similar. As we open this up, it'll note it says that basically you cannot save. So please, before going into this particular function, make sure you've saved your work. So now that we have uh, the two models in, doesn't look like we have that. So let's see what we have inside of the, the session. So we're going to turn on the interface that tells us what we're looking at. And you'll see that we're able to switch back and forth between these. But since they're exactly, they were saved exactly the same, that doesn't help us out. So let's change the one of them to the red and the other one to the white. Now that we have two models selected, one of the things that we may want to do is uh, let's put this one in and let's do a side-by-side -side comparison. So if you notice with the side-by-side -side comparison, um, the two scenes are fully synchronized. We have exactly the same background in there as we're looking around the scene. You can, you can evaluate the product uh, efficiently in exactly the same light. So you have a really good understanding of what this model is going to look like, what the product's going to look like, what the different variations of the product are going to look like. Of course, we may choose to want to be able to switch the, the original with the one that I've modified left and right. And if I had more uh, models to compare, I could go through and either on the left or the right, I could compare the previous or next um, uh, on the, the particular products. So now that we have these in, what it's great to do is we're going to put a lot of interface up here for a short period of time here. And I'm going to go ahead and turn on the shots. Well, shots are a great tool for evaluating a design. Since we're in a comparative mode, wouldn't it be great to do that? And now I can look at the variations of these products, comparing them side by side, understanding exactly what that product is going to look like. So it's a great tool to allow you to be able to look at the product, understand what the product is capable of doing, looking at the variations of the product, 